Okay guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you seven different Dungeons tips to help with all seven of the different floors. Now, these things that I've learned from my experiences are, uh, I personally think that these help, so you don't have to agree with my opinion, you could maybe even put down the things that help you with them in the description, uh, in the comments, even. Um, but yeah, so, the, uh, my last video that I made, Games of Attraction, and yeah, I'd really appreciate it if anyone who's watching could subscribe. So yeah, on to the video. All seven dungeon tips to help you when you're new, when you're new. Okay, so tip number one is to find a floor to grind that you want to grind. Whether you're doing floor seven to get like the max amount of Cater XP, or maybe floor five for money, floor four for money. You know, because you can't do floor six. When you find a floor, you should grind it for a bit. Uh, for certain things, such as getting the collection awards at like 50, 100, 150, uh, some of those things can be really useful and just free money. Um, or the more you run a floor, the more Cater XP you'll get. So with floors 1 to 5, uh, you get 150% more XP. Uh, floor 6, you get 100% more XP. And floor 5 and floor 7, you get 50% more XP. So just the more you play, the more XP you get. Uh, tip number two is that you should dungeonize your dragon armor. Now, if you have pre-existing dragon armor and you know you want to do dungeons but you can't spend all your money on an expensive dungeon setup, dungeonizing dragon armor is really useful. You won't be able to immediately use it, but with the lower requirements, you can get yourself a really good dungeon set with stuff that you already have. Now, it will cost a bit to buy the Dragon Essence to Syrah if you don't have enough already, but Dragon Essence is too expensive and I think that uh, this armor can be really good for what you need. If you already have maybe Superior and you want to get into dungeons, you have to get to Catherine level 19. Um, so, tip number three. Don't be scared to change the role you play in dungeons. Uh, recently with the changes, uh, with the buff to tanks, healers, and berserkers. Lots of changes can be done. Maybe you're a mage and you realize, and you want to do maybe master mode. You think, hmm, well, having like five or six mages, uh, four or five mages, isn't that good anymore, really. Uh, I definitely would advise you to swap something else. Now, even stuff like tanks and healers in on the lower floors are especially useful. Like, just use the fact that tanks just don't die, pretty much. Or like, make their teammates not die. There's a chance that you will still die, but a lot of the time, if you're a tank, none of your teammates will be dying. And if you have a good enough healer, you won't be dying either. Um, but yeah, so with, with these all new changes coming out, and the lay layout of dungeons, like, with teams still being a bit shaky, I would definitely recommend if now, is the best time to change your role. Um, now I uh, didn't fully do it in this uh, recording that you're seeing, uh, but a, a tip that I would use is that you most likely should try and clear all the rooms before you do the actual uh, secrets. Uh, obviously if there's secrets you just sort of find, always, always go for them, you know? If sort of just something you can just get, Easily, go for it. But if you have to go cut really out your way to do it, you know, and it's sort of just annoying, I would not recommend doing it. Just because it can slow down your run, or if somehow all the people die, you won't get as much Cater XP, and just stuff like that. Uh, now, something that I just hate a lot on in the community is actually the Party Finder. Now, personally, I really only use the Party Finder all the time. The Party Finder can be a really powerful tool, as good people do show up on there from time to time, and if you find some people, play a game, play a couple of games with them, your character XP can go up a decent amount if you're, you know, doing good runs, and, you know, you can make it, if you're the leader, you can choose to have, like, hmm, I want a tank, I'll put, need tank, and if you get a full team without a tank, unlucky, you have to just kick someone then. Um, and something else that I am using for actually the, the party finder is that you should like always try and check with people uh, their cat level or like you know go onto a website like Skyrim or something. Um, 
because personally, I'm only Archer like 17 or 18, but I'm Cat 25, and I would be a bit annoyed when people thought, oh, he's only he's only Cat 18. So you gotta always either tell people immediately, oh, I'm Cat 25 or whatever, or go and go and say like, or if you're the leader, check. Um, and finally, you know, one thing that I think is really important is how, <laughs> I, I wouldn't say unbalanced, but I'd say how, I guess, OP tanks are in the, in the current stage. Uh, just the power that they have, being able to hit 80% of damage, means that someone like me, a squishy archer, or someone who's a maid, where maybe in like the sedan boss mode, like I am, you only have 100,000 EHP. Not that much, really. You definitely want to get a lot more. But, with new updates, tank is really OP, <laughs> I'd say. Um, uh, also, the fact that you get just, you don't need to put a water from Shelmet on your pets anymore, as you just get knockback resistance, that is so useful. It means that you can put a better pet item on that will give you a lot more damage, maybe. You could do an anti remedy, something like that. And, like, uh, as you can see here, this is floor 6. And I'm doing perfectly fine as someone with 100,000 or 150,000 HP on average. I'm surviving just as well. And without a tank, a healer does help with this as well. Without a tank, I'd be dead already. I'd be dead the second Terracon has started. But this is why tanks are so good. Uh, so I'll let the rest of this fight play out, and I'll come back to you at the end. so much for watching this video i'd really appreciate it if you could watch another video uh if you haven't already watched uh the other day's archer video that was a really fun video to make i really enjoyed making that uh check out in the description the link to my friend dudes he has helped a lot with the channel recently uh and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one goodbye